Hello, this is Daniel, please. My name is Daniel and welcome to yet another video in which we're going to be taking a look at how to install Fabric and Optifine together for Minecraft 1.16.4. That's right, in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to use fabric mods together with shaders. For shaders you need Optifine, so we're going to be installing Fabric and Optifine for Minecraft 1.16.4. Now before we get into it, of course, if you're into Minecraft videos like these, then be sure to hit that big red subscribe button and hit the bell notification right next to it. Also, feel free to check out my Instagram page, and last but not least, we have our own Minecraft server. If you want to join, use the IP address on the screen right now, it's play.danielplays.net. The IP address will also be down in the description. So let's get started. To get started, we're going to be installing Fabric itself, which is the mod loader. To do that, open up your browser or just use the links down below in the description. All the links that I'm going to be using in this video will be down in the description so you don't have to look anything up yourself. So a quick search for fabric mod loader will also do the trick. You want to come over to fabricmc.net right here. Come over to this little word that says here. You can actually click this and once you click that you will be given two options to either download the Java installer or the Windows EXE installer. If you're on Windows, which I am, you want to go with this EXE one. If you're not on Windows, you want to get the universal one. So I'm going to go with the EXE one. They both work the same. They will also look the same if I remember properly. Once it's downloaded, just click it. If you actually download the universal one, you might want to click keep because .jar files will have this warning. So here we are in the fabric installer. It should be set to the correct values by default. Maybe if 1.17 or even later versions are released in the future and you need to go back to some other older version, you can use this drop down menu right here and go back to 1.16.4. Make sure to leave create profile enabled because this will create a separate new Minecraft profile that you can use to launch with fabric. Just click install now and as you can see it took just a split second there for me to install fabric loader just click ok close the installer and now we're actually going to be installing the mods so you can minimize your browser and actually launch minecraft now as you can see a new profile has been created which is called fabric loader it will have this exclamation mark because that's something new that mojang added to the game to actually let you know that you're not playing an official minecraft version so what you're going to want to do is actually just play using the fabric loader. Click play. The first time you will be shown this pop up. You just have to click. I understand the risks. Of course, there is no extra risk. Nothing has changed, but this is just something new that they decided to put in the launcher. Just click play here. So here we are in Minecraft 1.60.4. As you can see in the bottom left corner here, it says Minecraft 1.60.4 slash fabric modded, which is great. So now you can click quit game. The folder mods should now have been added and created in your .minecraft folder. Let's come back to the browser real quick and do a search for OptiFabric. Once again, a link to this will also be down in the description so you don't have to look this up. What this mod allows you to do, this is a fabric mod that allows Optifine to not only work with Forge, but also with Fabric, which is just great, especially if you want to use shaders with fabric mods. So here we go, this is the page. And what you wanna do is just scroll down a little until you reach this section here that says recent files and just click this download icon behind the OptiFabric recommended release. Just like that, we'll be redirected to an ad page where we have to wait five seconds and then our download will automatically start. Because this is a .jar file, you have to click keep because Chrome doesn't trust .jar files. Don't exactly know why, but I'm just letting you know that you can click keep on this file because it's safe if you actually use the links that I put in the description. Now open up a new tab and go to optifine.net, just like that. A link once again will be down in the description. Come over to downloads right here and download the latest version using either the download or the mirror button. I want to use the download button because that actually supports the creator of Optifine. So what the download button does is redirect you to this page where you are shown some non-aggressive ads that you can very easily skip using this button right here. And by doing so, you help out the creator of Optifine. Now you can just click this link right here, close this tab real quick because it will redirect you to yet another ad. Now we're just going to wait for Optifine to finish downloading. Once again, it's a .jar file, so click keep. So we now have all the files we need to get Optifine to work with Fabric for 1.60.4. All there's left to do is drag these files into the mods folder and to reach the mods folder, go into the search bar right here, type in percent app data percent, 
and hit enter or return just like that click the dot minecraft folder find the mods folder right here and as you can see it should be empty by default now all we got to do is drag op to fabric in here and drag op define in here so there should be two mods here op to fabric and op define and that should do the trick now you can close this window close your browser now you can launch minecraft with fabric just click play again and after it's launched we should now be able to add stuff like shaders and change other video settings in minecraft 1.60.4 whilst also having fabric to load fabric mods so here we are in Minecraft 1.16.4. In the bottom left corner, as you can see, not only does it say Minecraft 1.16.4 slash fabric, on top of that, it also says Optifine 1.16.4. And indeed, if we come over to options and video settings right here, you can see a bunch of new menu buttons have been added with different new settings, as well as shaders right here, which allows you to add and enable shaders. If you're interested to learn how to add shaders to Minecraft 1.16.4, be sure to check out the tutorial I made earlier, specifically for 1.16.4 on how to add shaders to Optifine in 1.16.4. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video actually helped you out in installing fabric and optifine together if it actually did be sure to give it a thumbs up also if you want to see videos like these pop up on your homepage more often then be sure to hit that big red subscribe button and hit the bell notification right next to it and then as always i will of course catch you in the next one see ya